Hello and welcome. This series of short lectures will cover anatomy and physiology. These are the two main pillars of knowledge when it comes to understanding humans in health and in sickness. We will start with very basic concepts and definitions and will gradually increase our knowledge as we go on. Let's talk about anatomy first. Anatomy refers to the study of the body structures. Some of these structures are very small and can only be observed and analyzed with the help of a microscope. Other larger structures can easily be seen, measured, and weighed. A good understanding of anatomy is key to the profession of medicine. That is, before you start understanding human diseases, you have to know how humans are built. Human anatomy was first studied by observing the exterior of the body and observing the wounds of soldiers and other injuries. Bodies of dead humans were dissected later to add to the knowledge. When a body is dissected, its structures are cut apart to observe their physical features and their relationships to one another. Dissection is still used in medical schools. However, in modern era, it is possible to observe internal structures and organs in living people with the help of several imaging technologies such as CT scans, MRIs, ultrasounds, and x-rays. Other than outlining normal anatomy, many of these techniques allow clinicians to visualize structures in cross-sections inside the living body and differentiate normal anatomy from abnormal such as a cancerous tumor growth or a fractured bone. Using many of these modalities, you can also see some of the anatomy in action. For example, echocardiography not only shows all chambers and walls of the heart, it also shows how different valves are opening and closing and how the blood is pumped. That is a bit of physiology there, which will be discussed in a later video. So let's come back to anatomy for now. There are two major types of anatomy, and both are further subdivided in other branches, as we will discuss soon. Gross, macroscopic anatomy is the study of anatomical structures that can be seen by the naked eye, such as the external and internal bodily organs. Gross anatomy, also called topographical anatomy, is the study of anatomy at the macroscopic level. Microscopic anatomy, on the other hand, is the study of microscopic anatomical structures such as tissues and cells. You have to remember that the life starts with submicroscopic components such as atoms and molecules, which come together to make microscopic components such as cells, which eventually make tissues and the finally take enormous forms of life. Gross anatomy can be further subdivided into three different fields. Surface anatomy, or superficial anatomy, is the study of external anatomical features without dissection. Surface anatomy deals with anatomical features that can be studied by sight. Regional anatomy focuses on specific external and internal regions of the body, such as the head, chest, or abdomen and how different systems work together in that region. Systemic anatomy focuses on the anatomy of different organ systems, such as the digestive, respiratory, or nervous system. Regional anatomy is widely used in modern teaching because it is easier to apply to a clinical setting than systemic anatomy. Also, while using imaging techniques, you are likely to use regional anatomy, as compared to systemic anatomy, unless special applications are used. However, it does not make systemic anatomy less important when it comes to understanding physiology and human conditions. Also, it is almost impossible to learn regional anatomy without learning systemic anatomy. Microscopic anatomy is divided into two major classes, cytology and histology, Cytology is a branch of science which deals with cells, more precisely, the structural and functional organization of cells. Cells are the structural and functional unit of life. Cytology is also known as cell biology. It is a very specialized and a very important area of study and one of the key sciences used to diagnose a large number of conditions. 
It is one of the main pillars of modern medicine. Cytology involves using microscopes for looking at the individual cells for abnormal changes within the cells. Histology, which is very closely related to cellular biology, focuses on the microscopic study of tissues. The term tissue is used to describe a group of cells found together in the body. The cells within a tissue share a common embryonic origin. Microscopic observation reveals that the cells in a tissue share the same morphological features and are arranged in an orderly pattern in order to accomplish tissue's functions. Morphology, in very simple words, relates to form or shape, so to speak. Although there are many types of cells in the human body, they are organized into four broad categories of tissues, epithelial, connective, muscle, and nervous. Each of these categories is characterized by specific functions that contribute to the overall health and maintenance of the body. A disruption of the structure is a sign of injury or disease. Such changes can be detected through histology, the microscopic study of tissue appearance, organization, and function. Next video, we will discuss a little bit about physiology and some of these in coming videos. We will explore a bit more about the topic described here. See you then!